I got my first data internship role using this platform and it honestly helps me to finally get my full-time data analyst role some months later. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of using the platform um, as a way to also fast track the process of you getting your own job. Using this platform in 2021 honestly helps me to finally land my first data analyst role. And I'm making this video if you're someone that is also struggling to get your first data role or you're looking for an internship role and you really just need something to get you started. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use the platform. And the first thing you need to do is to go to, just do your Google, like on your Google search query and just type forage. And you can see there's even an option saying virtual internship. But before I even go into the platform, this, I also want to just share some benefits of using this platform. So this platform is really just to help you to, you know, put into you some of the skills that you've, you've acquired. And this will only be, you know, useful if you're someone that have taken some courses before, right? Um, and you're just trying to really gauge if you've actually know those skills that you've learned through the courses or not. And this is the platform. And like I said, the platform is actually perfect for entry level or like recent graduates and you're just really looking to like improve on some certain skills. But I'll be speaking from a data analyst perspective, right? When I go on the platform, the first thing you need to do is to sign up, right? But I already have an account, I think, because I, like I said, I did this um, virtual internship in 2021. Right, but if you're someone new, you just need to sign up, you know, clicking this button using your Gmail and it's pretty easy to do. And when you're done, um, so I'm trying to, yeah, so I have an account, like I said, I actually have two different accounts. So this account is not the one that I used in completing the course in 2021. And just for some context, I did the KPMG um, data, um internship right but on this platform there are actually different organizations that they have their own internship programs and you can always just play around with anyone that you like right so when i click on explore i can see this option and you can click on view hall and like i said i will be speaking from a data analyst perspective and you can either you can either search right so i will just click on data here and you can even select the company that you want but i think i will just leave the company i won't i won't i'm not going to input any company because i just want to check through um all the companies that they have on the platform and you can see we have accenture we have tata group we have pwc and what this means is that when you click on each one of those they're going to give you certain tasks that you take home, right, and you go to practice by yourself. And what this platform is really trying to do is really just to help you to, you know, have a feel of what doing an internship with like, with like a real organization looks like. So let's say for an example, I want to do this Accenture data analytics and visualization program. What does, what I'm going to get, you know, from clicking on this link, will be for so for the for the program i'm going to have different tasks that essential will ask me to do right and like i said they're just trying to help you like have a feel of what um it will look like by the time you have like a real data analyst tool and you're going to be communicating with some employees of Accenture. So whether you're doing for KPMG, you also be communicating with employees of KPMG and they're going to give you tasks. And on this platform, you need to complete the task before you will see what the data analyst in that organization, what they would have done. And that's how you can also gauge your skills that you've learned. So I know for the KPMG that I did in 2021, um, they largely focus on Excel right i'm not sure if that has changed but you can always check it out um and when i click on this essential also just to practicalize what i've been talking about so you can see the different tasks that we have here so we have four different tasks and like i said employees of essential are going to guide you 
on how on how to do each one of them so you so you get the tax they will communicate what you need to do there are even some tax that you will probably write like an email um but for the kpmg that i did yeah they were part of like writing emails they were the part of like downloading um watching some videos also there's also the part of like downloading you know some data sets working on them then submit submit you know my results then by the time i submit that's how you will unlock the results um, of the tax itself and you can easily just compare and see is there something you didn't do well is there something you could have done better and by and by doing that you're also improving on your different skills and for this essential you can see that they have four different tasks and when i click on the first one like i said they're going to walk you through it's pretty easy it's just like the whole essence of the of the task is really just for you to understand how data analysts work in real life right as you can see for task one you can see the overview and here they're saying you will miss the essential team which is something i've mentioned before so you also watch a video where they will also walk you through the tasks that you need to do and honestly this is really just a way for you to put your skills into use and there, there's a certification after you've completed all the four tasks there's no timeline to this so you can always finish you know anytime that you want um, even though they put I think they put two to four hours to finish this thing you might probably take longer than that because you also really want to like understand what each task is asking you to do um, then just a follow-on to everything that, that I've said after completing the task even after doing like task one don't just do task one what are the new things that you learned from them share on LinkedIn share on Twitter or any other platform that you're most active on um, and by that way, you're also building your personal brand and you're also showing potential employers that you know what you're doing, right? Let me know if you're going to be trying this platform. Let me know if this makes sense. Um, and that's pretty it for this video. Like I said, I did this since 2021 and honestly, I learned so much. Um, I even remember one of the tasks that they gave me as a then that I didn't know how to go about it. I went on YouTube, which is also something you can do. And you will also you can also watch follow-on videos on how people have solved that task okay i hope this makes sense and that's really it for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe and see you in my next video bye